Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you aren't following me, follow me if you aren't already. So that number over there could go up. So um, we're reviewing Catfish. Catfish is coming on next week. I will be reviewing Jersey Shore Family Vacation. It's been a minute because I not re really review season three like that. So I'm reviewing season four. So this is season eight, episode 23. And oh, I'm so glad. I think YouTube is back up by the time you guys are watching this, I hope, because it was down for the count and there's some YouTube YouTuber drama going on that I want to see. Okay. So season eight, episode 23, Jake and Taylor. This was actually a pre quarantine episode. And next week is another pre quarantine episode. It looks, looks more like a doozy than this one, but Hey, we're just going to continue on. So Neve and Cammy are talking about the broom thing. This was like way in the beginning of the year when you can make the broom stand up and gravity. I tried it. It didn't work for me. And so they, the, um, the, the, the crew says that it's not, it's not actually an email today. Sorry, I got to fix this. There's not actually an email today. It's a TikTok message. And this was from this guy named Jake. Jake asked for help on TikTok. And he says... He'll remember meeting this girl at some convention or anywhere. Someone named Emily had said that um, Taylor is a catfish. And uh, she DM'd him through Instagram. She brought up money. He accepted it. Like, she gave her $5. For what? What were we giving somebody $5 for? You could win that off a lottery ticket, okay? And it feels so real to see them back filming in person because there has been at least like 10 probably more than that episodes filmed through zoom and that's with ghosted too because i think ghosts come back in december so i'm so excited about that um Neve was hiding behind the curtain trying to scare cammy and then you know they look up the phone number and they say they see this person named brig on shady lane that i can't believe there's a street name really called that shady lane that is very questionable. The girl in the pictures looks like an influencer. And I'm thinking like, maybe it's the Emily chick. Maybe she's Taylor, you know? Maybe she wanted to out herself without really outing herself. You know what I mean? And then Taylor answered around like, what? And then this girl pops up. Oh, yeah. So Taylor answered. Taylor turns out her name is Jenny and you know she's like I said I think she was an influencer and but basically she said that she's never been talking to no 18 year old named Jake Jake from State Farm I'm just kidding but uh no she ain't been talking to him so they are there just standing there waiting and then this girl pops up and Neve asked her was she Taylor and she said yes but her name's Amanda and then the camera was like okay and then uh, Amanda says she doesn't know what Emily then where did Emily come from this happens every episode there's always somebody in it and we don't know where they came from like where did you came come from she's 24 and she has been catfishing for six or five years she even been catfishing since high school um, she felt like she didn't have no friends and she was having a hard time when it comes to people and girl high school is over it's over get it together go find you some friends and you know she's she saw his house on google maps that sounds very stalkerish okay very stalkerish and cammy seems like she don't like her and chelsea and kelsey are her friends they look like twins she didn't want to make jake look bad she she sent um jake three hundred dollars for him to send christmas gifts for his family he said he couldn't go home without sending no christmas gifts for his family no and he never called her back he also paid for him some food and he said okay babe bye like you didn't even say stay on the phone to carry on a conversation so basically she was feeding your mouth and sending you money for what i don't know because you weren't all that and you have friends she was born with spina bifida and amanda started crying and Dude, Jake, you better not ask her for no more money. Go get you a job, okay? And, you know, they were talking about the renegade. The renegade is so old. And he plans to pay her back. And Amanda says the Taylor count is still up. But um, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm also going to be reviewing Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Um, it, it's a new show, so I'm interested. And tomorrow will be Braxton Family Values again. Hopefully. I'm trying to get together with the homework thing, but it's just all piling up. 
But then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.